Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Zoom video, I'm going to discuss your personal meeting room, which is tied into your personal meeting ID. I'm going to take a look at what you can customize. And this is based on whether you have the free Zoom account. Zoom calls a free account a basic account versus a paid account, which Zoom refers to as a licensed account. Just to be clear about what I'm doing, I've already signed into zoom.us and I'm using my licensed account. So I have more features with my personal meeting room than someone that's on the basic or free account. Either way, once you sign in, come over here to meetings and then select personal room. Your personal room, your personal meeting room is tied into your personal meeting ID. Because I'm in my licensed account, I don't care that you see my personal meeting ID right here. And I'm going to show you why right now. Either way, you go to personal room and you click on edit. So because I'm in a licensed account, I can change my personal meeting ID from these 10 digits to 10 other digits. If you're in the free account or basic account, you cannot change your personal meeting ID. The second feature I noticed is for security in Zoom now, you have to have either a passcode or the waiting room. And if you have a licensed account, you have a third option, require authentication to join. So you must pick one of these, whether you're in the free or basic. But the problem I've noticed is if you're in basic, passcode is always going to be checked and you can't turn that off. But the good news is this, you can change this passcode for how people get into your room, whether you're in licensed or in basic, you can change the passcode. You just can't disable the passcode with the free account. So here I go. This is probably what I would do if I'm using my personal meeting room. I may or may not require the passcode, but one thing for sure I would do is the waiting room. You can turn on the waiting room with a free account. So if you turn on the waiting room, I've already said this, you're already going to have the passcode running, so you would have two security features running. I may not want that with my licensed account, but everyone's going to hit the waiting room. One other tip, just so you know this, down at the bottom here it says allow participants to join anytime. Well, that's great. People can join anytime, except the waiting room will override allow participants to join anytime. So even with that checked, they can't join anytime with the waiting room turned off. So here's what I would do. I've got to pick one of these. I'm going to stay with the passcode. Now, when people join my meeting with my personal meeting room, personal meeting ID, and I'm not there yet, they're going to put in my personal meeting ID, 847-159-7521. They'll be prompted for the passcode. They will have to put that in. Then they can pop into the meeting. So before I even join. Anyway, the reason I don't mind showing you this is I'm going to do this right here. So if you really want to test this, feel free when you're watching this video to crank up Zoom and see if you can get into my personal meeting room and you will not be able to get into it because you're going to hit the waiting room and I'm not going to allow you in there. I'm going to leave this running just for a couple days and today is Sunday 2-21-21. So we'll just see what happens. I'll leave this running for maybe five or six days actually because um, I have nothing coming up soon. Anyway, so I hope that helps. Just remember, if you have a free or basic account, you cannot change your personal meeting ID. So be really selective with who you share this with. It should only be with close family members and friends. You cannot disable the passcode, but you can at least change the passcode. I hope that helps. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions about my Zoom videos, please let me know down below. Got over 50 Zoom videos right now. My playlist is also down below in the description. The most recent Zoom videos are at the top of my playlist. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.